All right. John, how would you characterize the round today? It was good. Um, played really good 14 holes. Um, and then I think there was a bit of a slump on 7 through 10 uh, that I was able to manage really well. You know, those the up and down for bogey on 8, the up and down for par 9, and the up and down for par 10 were were key, you know, three in a row to limit the mistakes or the damage. And from then on, I played amazing golf. Well, the chip in at one kind of got you going, right? Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, I think it's easy to just think on the chip in, but I think uh, the long putt on two helped as well, right? I mean, you get a chip in, you know, it's, it's a bonus, obviously. Um, and then on two, I leave myself not in the easiest spot, right? I have a long putt downhill with good 10 to 12 feet of break and I almost make it perfect pace, right? So when I start with that, uh, with a good chip in and knowing that I have the pace of the greens, it kind of gives me a little bit of a bonus feel. And, uh, and again, it was a great round except a couple of errors, but you know that's why we practice short game. Uh, just feel about, how do you feel about your overall position here as far as uh, you know, trying to make up the difference? You know, it's very easy to get caught up on how far back you start. Um, I don't think I really once thought about it out there. I was just trying to post a score, right? My job is to hit the best shot I can in each time, and that's all I can control, right? So uh, I can't be thinking what the people ahead of me are doing. Um, and I, I think I will, that applies to tomorrow as well. You know, maybe on the weekend you think about who's leading and who's not, but uh, try to think about it as a regular event and not, you know, how much distance I got to make up. Obviously, 72 holes, it's a lot of holes, and four shots is not that much answer my question in a way I'm just wondering you always have to though with the <laughs> with the staggered start um, before everyone starts and what have you is it is it out of sight out of mind by the time you get to tomorrow I think it's I mean honestly in my case I think you guys and the people out there think about it way more than I do because uh, at the end of the day with the format we have right now when you step on the tee you know you're four back and that's it Right. If you start early on, you know you're 10 back, and you still got to post a good score. Uh, I think it's maybe on the mind of who's leading, where if they were to shoot uh, 64, they're definitely going to have an advantage. Uh, but in our case, yeah, and on this golf course, I know that I'm going. I need to play really four solid rounds of golf to have a chance. And so far, I've done a good job. It's going to happen one of these years, and they'll change the format, won't they? I have no okay, idea. And shoots 62 one day, and he's got a 12-shot lead, and everyone goes home. Listen, you still have to finish it. That's the thing, right? Uh, it might happen someday, it might not. This is not the easiest golf course to shoot 62. I don't know if I've ever seen a 62 here myself. Uh, I think close, short, short, uh, lowest I've seen might be a 64. And they don't come very often. I know DJ did it last year to get a massive lead going into the final round. And I play really good golf out there. I mean, mistakes are very penalizing out here. So to be fair, if somebody goes out there and shoots 62, 61, they surely deserve the lead. Do you want to hear about the 61 year later another time? Yeah. All good? Yeah. yeah. Thank you.